Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going into, you guessed it, we're going into Goodwill. <laughs> Let's go in and see what we can buy and sell on eBay. Let's go. All right, so we're heading straight back to the hard goods section, as we always do. They have a whole bunch of these little puppy figurines. That's Precious Moments. $1.99. 99 cents on this one. And then the little Dalmatian was $1.99. Now this, I thought it might have been a Made in Japan piece. I do not see any markings on it. It looks like somebody already must have taken the tag to try and see. $3.99 on that little acorn salt and pepper shaker. $2.99 on the Yorkie that has some damage. Music box. I don't know if you still call those music boxes, even though they're don't they're not a box and they don't open up. A dollar ninety nine on that cow. A lot of figurines today. That one's broke. Right there on the pigtail. Some more precious moments. A little strawberry. That looks like a teapot. I don't know who the maker is. I do see... That does have some writing on it. A little sugar dish. And a creamer. And that one was damaged and so was the sugar, sugar dish. Goodness. Here is a turkey... Probably like a tea light holder. You put a little candle in there and then it comes out those little holes. Those are little tiny plates. Four seasons is what it says on the box. It's two ninety nine. But I struggled to get them out, so <laughs> I left it alone. Heartland Village, International table, table Works. I have allergies today, and my voice keeps cracking, <laughs> so I apologize for that. These are each 99 cents. And normally, the mugs and stuff like this over here, they won't um, mark. As you can see, they don't mark them. And anything that's not marked is going to be 99 cents in the mug section. Um, that was a Bailey's mug. I really like these floral design plates. It says made in China though. And it looks like it's a saucer so it was needing a teacup. And I did not find the teacups to go with that. These are Threshold which is Target. I thought it was going to be something else. And that's a sugar dish it looks like, but it would normally have a lid. I hope everyone had a great weekend. We did. We It was pretty rainy here, so we stayed home, but three nine on that vase. Yeah, it snowed and rained here. Little candles with like tea petals or lavender. That one says lavender. They were each 99 cents.
So these look like precious moments to me, but they also kind of look like a hobbyist piece. They were $5.99, and they have a modern day tag on the bottom. So they kind of look like reproductions of precious moments with them being this big, and they were all these pieces were $5.99. Yeah, on the bottom it says Angel Girl with Watering Can. So definitely not Precious Moments, and I didn't even know they were angels until I read that bottom and I can see their wings. A little zippered case, $1.99. ninety-nine on that. Little tumbler. This I thought was a vase until I picked it up as a candle. It says 50th anniversary. little fan it was 99 cents but it did have a lot of damage on the the edge dollar 99 on this piece what would this be called like a protractor but i thought protractors were like round Right now we're in the wood section. So that says old Spanish, probably a souvenir piece, just a little trinket box. This I thought was going to be wicker, but it was like a plastic material to, made to look like the wicker. Just a little box. Little tiny desk, probably for a doll. It's cute. Three ninety nine. Little shelf sitting duck or goose, so cute. Little daffodil on that glass um i'm so ready for springtime springtime is one of my favorites it's between that and fall are my favorite seasons i don't like i like the summer but i don't like to be too hot <laughs> and i like you know winter time but i don't want it to be too cold either so <laughs> spring and fall are my my favorite That's like a metal little ornament. It's two ninety nine. So another Pampered Chef item over here. I don't know what these are called, but it has that knife thing in it. Where those like you just put it over your bowl and then slice it. But those scare me. <laughs> uh, it's five ninety nine. It says simple slicer, but they're called something else, like mandolin. Is that what they're called? Let me know. <laughs> um, I've seen people where they've used something like that, and they've sliced off like a whole tip of their finger. So those scare me. I mean, <laughs> I already had to get stitches for using a knife. I definitely don't want to use one of those. <laughs> Okay, that's $5.99. It's a little statue or figurine, but it's pretty big. It's a girl and a boy, and some of it's like a fabric material. It says the Saturday Evening Post. I did not do comps on it. I left it behind because it was big and heavy. <laughs> a 
$1.99 on those little candle holders. And this is like one of those pullback for your curtains. It's JC Penney's new old stock. So $2.99. When somebody says new old stock, that means this is an older item that's never been used. Maybe I should have done the comps on this one, but I feel like it might have been missing some pieces because of that round bubble in the back. And it looks like there's only one of those pullbacks. I think that there should have been two in there. $1.99 on these little paint palettes. I think that's what they call, they're called. My oldest daughter loves to paint. $1.99 on that hobbyist piece. And you can tell because it has somebody's name on the bottom. $1.99 on that piece. Little candlestick holder. $2.99. And it is a candle. Never been used. I don't burn candles. I have a um, oil diffuser though. $3.99. I wish he wasn't broken because I would have picked him up. See, his little ear was broke right off. This looks like um, a vintage game, but I bet it's probably newer. It's Clue. It has been used and they left some of their stuff in it, but I don't know if all the pieces are in there. I'm trying to look at the year. It's $1.99. Maybe it is vintage with the people on the back. They look, it looks very 90s to me. I'm going to let it ride in the buggy and then we'll see what the comps are. And maybe I can look and see how many pieces are supposed to go in there. This, I don't know what this is. Maybe like some type of mold. I'm not sure. The big toy section over here. It's a little car. From the show Supernatural. It's $3.99. I pass on that one. I know it's new in box. But the box was broken on the top. And it was already $3.99. It says Creepy Horse Man. It's like a bobblehead. I don't know. <laughs> $3.99. Looks like a Barbie stand. It would have took batteries. And it was $5.99, so I left that behind. Little figurines again, $2.99 on that one. And the other one, the one, the three, they look like little Santas to me. Um, the other one was $4.99. Some more Christmas stuff back here. $1.99 on those little peppermint sticks. $2.99. Definitely looks like a hobbyist piece. And I do pick up some of those sometimes, but not... Not all the time. This is a cookie jar. $5.99 for the little bulldog in the little Christmas sweater cookie jar. This looks like it plugs in. It's $2.99, but I cannot find where the plug went. I know it's on the shelf, but it's like buried. A big bucket of cookie cutters for 3 dollars 
And that looks like a little placemat or something you would put on the table. It has horses on it. It is cute. 99 cents on that. Again, more Christmas stuff. And my kids back there have found the big toys. <laughs> uh. A little rooster. It's a dollar ninety nine. It does have some damage. But I did leave it behind. I have another rooster that looks similar to this, but it has more coloring on it and it's been sitting there for I don't know, maybe six months, so <laughs> I didn't pick up that one. That's a Melissa and Doug little art kit thing, like dry erase, like easel, $6.99. I would have got that for the kids, but we have a big giant dry erase board up in my office, so I didn't feel like I needed a, a small one. That's like, um... It probably came with a whole set of them. It's $3.99. I've seen people buy stuff like this on Amazon, and I kind of think it came with a whole kit. It's like a cold case file, and you got to figure out who who did it. <laughs> $2.99 cats and a dog. It's $1.99. It's a puzzle, and on the front where it said $1.99, it said brand new. But I'm going to open it up and see... It was super taped. It does have the paper and all of these are still in their original baggies. Sealed, never been opened. So I am going to pick that up. And if it doesn't sell, <laughs> I'll just keep it for me and the kids. It's a little doll head. <laughs> so I do like looking around in these little art sections for personal use. That's $1.99 on that. Some binders for $0.99, cents, which is way better than you would get at Walmart. $2.99, and that looks like a puzzle. Some more scrapbooking stuff, but that set was six ninety nine. Little photo albums or scrapbooks, whichever you would like to call these, and they were each four ninety nine, which is still probably better than you would get anywhere else. But I don't know. That's like a little desk calendar. And it's $8.99. <laughs> I know you can go to Ross or Marshall's or Home Goods and go and find those for like $2.99. <laughs> and that's $2.99 for that photo album. The pages are still sealed. But I just picked up a Precious Moments one and I wanted to wait until that one sold and see how quickly it did before I bought more. That says it's an iPhone waterproof like phone case. I know that would scare me taking that in the water. And then a very vintage steamer. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and I'm going to head home and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, so this is the only thing that I picked up today. I know, big, <laughs> big haul today, guys. But it did have a bunch of tape on it. I did take that off and it didn't leave any damage, which was good. And it does have all the pieces in it. And when I did the comps, it was going for anywhere from 15 to 20 and some of them were 25 so I guess it just depends on 
the listing, I guess. I don't know. I was going to start mine at $24.99. And I do sell my stuff a little bit higher. Like if you look at my page and you see the listings, they're, you're probably sticker shocked. But I always have a 20% off running in my store. And I do accept good offers. So if I put my thing, my item, at the 15 the lowest with my 20% off. And if you send me an offer, I'm not going to be you know what I mean, making a whole bunch. So I put mine up a little bit higher so I have room for wiggle room, right? And that's just how I do mine, and I know everybody does theirs different, but that's how I do mine because it is a lot of work to actually go to the stores, and I take my kids with me, and then I go to the post office myself with the kids. So I like to make sure I'm getting the most out of everything that I'm doing. Um, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribes, a huge thank you to everybody who writes comments. It's it's really nice. Um, but that's me at the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.